For this problem, we're going to feed high pressure, high temperature water to a throttle where we go through a large pressure drop. And the question is, what's the outlet temperature? And then if we have more than one phase, how much of each phase do we have? Well, if we look in the steam tables, we, we see that 200 degrees C is above the saturation temperature at 0 0.20 megapascals, which means some of the liquid's going to evaporate, so the temperature will decrease to the saturation temperature at 0.2 megapascals. And we want to determine how much decreases. So first thing, let's draw a simple diagram to represent the process. We can then write the general first law for simplifying, namely the change in the total internal energy respect to time is equal to in fact, we have mass flowing in, and that has enthalpy per kilogram, and mass flow rate out, enthalpy out, and then Q and W. We're going to ignore kinetic energy, assume that's small. For this system, then this term is going to be zero because it's steady state. This is zero because there's not much time for heat transfer, so we're going to assume it's adiabatic. And then this is zero. There's no work done. There's no shaft work, no expansion, compression work. And then because it's steady state, then the mass in and the mass out. So those flow rates must be the same. So our energy balance is the enthalpy in per kilogram is the enthalpy out. And we're going to use notation 1 and 2 to make it easier. So H1 equals H2. And we can look up H1 in the steam tables. So we're going to look up the enthalpy at 200 degrees C and saturation pressure. And that value is 854 kilojoules per kilogram. Indeed, if we look at steam tables for compressed liquids, Within three significant figures, we get the same value. Well, we concluded it should be at saturation temperature. And the other way of demonstrating that is we can look up at, at 0 0.20 megapascals, enthalpy liquid per kilogram, 505 kilojoules per kilogram, enthalpy of the vapor, 2706 kilojoules per kilogram and delta H of vaporization is just the difference between these two 2201 kilojoules per kilogram. So notice enthalpy to the outlet enthalpy is between the liquid and the vapor so we can calculate how much we have by how much liquid how much vapor H2 which is 854 kilojoules per kilogram is equal if x is the fraction is vapor 1 minus x is the fraction is liquid times enthalpy of the liquid and x times enthalpy of the vapor other way we can write this is enthalpy of the liquid plus x times delta h of vaporization and so i'll substitute the numbers in and i did the calculation to solve for x to two significant figures, 0 0.16. So, so this says the exit is 16% vapor and 84% liquid. And then the temperature is the saturation temperature, which in this case is 120 degrees C at 0 0.2 megapascals pressure.